There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Maester Ortengrin has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood, and we will promise our people to harvest it, thus securing their safety. As Sentinel and Castellan, I must warn against this. You may do this for some gain now, but in the end, it will starve this house. If we don't, there may be no house forester at all. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer him the ironwood in the courtyard. My lord, making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, and all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play against you. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Not another word. Your father would not approve, my lord. Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your Sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter, but what's more, he has the will to fight, a hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. Yes. I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. 
Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... My lady, I'll leave you to talk. How is King Joffrey, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. I'm so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the King's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family, if you'll excuse me, my lady. My lady. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. Sorry, I can't talk now. I'm sorry. I don't mean to disturb you. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. 
Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Where's Sir Roiland? He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the Thank Warden you, of Lord. the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, shall we begin? We do not wish to waste your time. I'm afraid it's too late for that. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <coughs> not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. It seems the Foresters have a talent for something after all. Lord Ramsay, we have another gift. We'd like to offer to your father. There are several ironwood groves along the borders of our land, all producing tall, strong trees. We'd like to give your father two of these groves in tribute. Give him? He is your warden. What's yours is already his. Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. And I care even less about a bunch of trees on some far-off hill. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. 
It was a forest squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. Lord Whitehill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? He's a Whitehill. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. The foresters have been tending ironwood for thousands of years. The White Hills had ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of... 20 men <gasps> within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan... They'll help maintain the King's peace. Whitehill men? Never. It's already done. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this, little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Leave my sister alone! I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, no! What have you done? No! But I don't Ethan! want a bold no! lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan! I certainly feel Ethan. better about all this. Ethan. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the body of your boy. No! Kill him. If they give you any trouble. Brian! Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the mix so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mana! Stop! Don't let him go! Let him go! Stop that! No, please! Ryan, please. Stop it! Remember Ryan! Do something! Ethan? 